Okay, so all these wires here laid out for uh, stage 66 of issue 18. Yeah, I've, I've spent quite a bit of time uh, previous to this just unraveling all these. They all came ravelled up and it was, you can see some of them were kind of you know, wrapped around each other. So it did take a wee while just to unravel them all. But I've had a look at them. They're all there. They uh, can't really inspect like the soldering too bad, but it doesn't look too bad. The heat shrink and the soldering on this one don't look too bad. Oh, we had a few issues on the last model I did, the DeLorean with poor electrics, but these don't look too bad. Wait and see, but I, I think we're going to be getting these fitted onto the model and then I think we're going to be testing some of these LEDs and um, switches and things. So, uh, but, hey, well, let's get into it. Let's get into the build for, uh, yeah, stage 66. So I'm going to need, first off, I'm going to need the wires mat that is uh, labelled with O, P and S. O, P and S. So they are all quite well kind of clearly marked. O. And S is a quite a long one. It's a blue long one. Blue wire. And P. What we seem to be doing really on these ones is attaching them to the corresponding uh, ones here so obviously P is going into P P going into P they look like fairly good connectors as well to be fair P has gone in O And S. And Q and B, but they're going into the back here. We've got loads of wires. And it's just going to be a case of trying to keep these safe and out of the way. Which is going to be a bit of a touch cradle, isn't it? Then we've got some ones that are going to be going into the back here. Once again, it's just identifying Q and R. There's R. Which is going to go into the matching R one. There it is. And Q. And now, so that was LEDs fitted, and now we're fitting the uh, switches and switches on the rear to start with. Uh, T, V, and X, and as switches go, T, V, and X. And there's X. And there's T. And TV and X have got to go into obviously the matching ones on here. So it's just going to be a bit of a not a problem, I guess, but there are going to be a lot of wires dangling around. So just going to be careful with that. Oh, we've got the sort of front as well. We've got U and W in the front ones. Okay, so they're all now fitted in. Testing the ceiling lights. At this point, it has a few of fitted or working correctly first with the main switch to the on position I need six AAA batteries I want some They're already on obviously the switch whatever controls them is already on so 
Uh, at this point, the ceiling light E should illuminate. So E, you see, that's S. Sixty-six E. Oh yeah, yeah. It calls it sixty-six E. So it's marked as S, isn't it? Sixty-six E marked S. Yes. Uh, test the next. Press the brake light switch. You see sixty-six D, sixty-six, sixty-six C and D illuminate. Q and R. Q here. If I press the brake pedal, then they should come on. There we go, they work. Next, push the main light switch cover 41E. This should cause the dashboard lights to light up as well as the headlights 66A and B. Why are they blue? They've got a slight blue tint to them, these lights. Yeah, I'll have to look at that. I did notice that in somebody else's video that they were. Got kind of a blue tint to them. See how they're in, but I'll have a look at those. And the dashboard light comes on as well. You can test that the ceiling light switches are working by pushing switches fitted in this phase 66 F to J. When the oil press, the ceiling light should switch off. Figure C. Pressing all these at the same time ain't going to be easy. Is it? In fact, almost impossible. There we go, go for that. Yeah, all five pressed, and yes, the lights go out and on. Uh, wow, thank you for that. You was zero collector, it was really easy. Well, the diagram here and each electrical function is controlled, so let's have a look. Connected, haven't we? We've got some there that are not connected and stuff, so I'm thinking that the roof lights aren't there yet because everything else seems to work. So, not too worried about the roof light switch not working, but everything else seems to work. Rear lights, front lights, they're both ceiling lights, aren't they? Yet. Yep, everything else seems to work, doesn't it? Great pedal, which was one I was really worried about. Yep. Okay. Whew. Lots and lots of wires, massively jumbled up. I don't know, I'm going to keep them safe. I'm just going to have to sort them out and put them, lay them down, but it works. I'm just going to turn it off. The switch works as well. 
Good. Excellent. Okay, so that was it for stage 66 of issue 18. Just fitting those wires and testing out those circuits. The only difficult thing was um, turning off all of those five switches at the same time to check that that ceiling light went out. Uh, the rest was okay. So that was it for uh, issue 18. As I say, I've got no more issue 18. However, as I say, there was a delay getting one of the uh, last issues, so I've already got quite a few of these, and I've got issue 19 subscribers pack ready to go. So it's going to be stage 67 next, which looks like uh, just a load more wires. Um, so hopefully the last ones, because then we're going to be getting onto the bodywork. Um, yeah, so uh, keep an eye out for stage 67, that's going to be coming up soon. But hey, thank you very much for watching this instalment of Build the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 by Hero Collector and Eagle Moss. And if you'd like to see the progression of this car all the way through from where it is now to a uh, completed model, then you can always consider subscribing. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you can always give us a thumbs up, pop any comments down in the comments box and I'll get back to them. But hey, thank you very much for watching. Hope to catch you again on the channel soon. Take care and ta for now.